Hi Cancerians, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. Um, first of all, thank you for being here. This Shangri-La. Okay, am I on frame? Sorry, been gaining weight, so I cannot frame. I cannot frame myself. Okay, so welcome, welcome to the store. Um, we're gonna start first with. I'm using these messages from the Light Meditation deck. All this deck that I'm using is available at the store. Also, let's see what's going on for you guys. Uh, yes, I know I'm wearing a Leo, but we also have a Cancer, um, uh, I forgot what, what uh, this is the Zodiac T. This is the Zodiac T. Okay, so do check it out. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Dream work. All right. Maybe for some of you guys, you guys are manifesting, um, uh, how to say this, a dream job or a, a, a job, a work, a business that allows you to express your creative freedom. Mm-hmm. This is wonderful. This is when, you know, uh, what do you call this? You have you, you have your own creative input. Maybe you're a designer, a sketch artist, a musician, a writer, composer, publisher, everything that involves a Venusian, okay? Because I feel like this is more, when we do Venusian work, we are inspired because mm -hmm. we're in love with our work. So it's not the regular mundane that you're manifesting. You're more of like, I want something that gives me life rather than takes out life from me <laughs> yes you can you understand me that kind of job okay so let's see what's going on here for my concerns using the what am I using okay the Grand Lux Tarot okay if you guys are wondering what I'm using okay okay mm -hmm. let me see you want something to work but you have doubts about it but you know how to make it happen. But the question is, why me again? Is it always me who's gonna work this? Is it me who has, it, is it me who's always gonna prove that I'm invested in this connection? Mm -hmm. So what you did was you just isolated yourself ever since you realized like, it's just me, it's just me, it's just me, and nobody really cares if this is gonna go. As far as it's your concern, you could be the breadwinner. I'm a bread eater in the family, not the winner. I'm winning eating the bread though. <laughs> Hermit with the six of wands, it shows that you have um, you have this connection that you want to fulfill, and you're really you know like I'm strong, I'm capable, I know what I'm doing. But why should I be the one? This is that one. Now. Um, the other person is independent, um, single, of course, I see it here. Um, but they do have a struggle with um, your opinions of relationship. So there's not meeting of the minds. They tend to disagree with everything that you say. So either um, you guys always have a fight or just contradicting opinions or views. In life, I don't know, politics, whatever you want, religion. Um, where to eat for dinner. Five of ones for me is that uh, where to eat for dinner and it always brings conflict to everyone. What do you want to eat? I don't know. Noodles. And it's like, what kind? I don't know, noodles. <laughs> so, um, so it brings conflict because if things were just clear and it's been like discussed, like let's just talk, it, talk about like, I don't open it would be easier. Mm -hmm. But it's not, it's not. They make your life really complicated because they like complicated. Your eight of coins with the Wheel of Fortune, the concern is you're definitely working on their coins. They're your, um, you have a big dream for money. Okay. This is a business thriving. This is your success. Okay, which is good. You have the Four of Swords and the Empress. Let me see here. Um, they're very quiet right now. They're not talking to you. Um, the Taurus has this same kind of reading where there is entitlement. 
Um, not that Taurus was entitled, they were dating someone who's entitled, and you're dating someone, um, Cancerian, who is entitled, Empress and the Five of Wands. Um, Four of Swords with the Nine of Pentacles. Let me see here. Hmm. They want to. They want you to understand that. Um, let me see. They want you to understand that when they're shutting down on you, they want you to chase them, like offer them more, give me more, give me more, give me more. But you're taking this back, your power, with the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. It feels like you're the one taking care of the household. You're the one taking care of the finances, the organization in the house, the everything. You know, it's like if you guys are going out, you're the one making planning. You're responsible with the King of Coins. Now, they have the Hierophant and the King of Coins. So they do want the relationship and partnership. However, they're reacting on the Yin side, which is the Empress. Okay? Which means like they want you they want you to be they want you to hmm how do you say this? They want you to be the provider, the one that they can lean on, the one that they can if they need something, you're there. If they want something, you're there. So they want a nanny. The nanny name, friend. <laughs> or a butler. If it's not a nanny. You know, let me see. But they're a king, though. They're supposed to be good. High Priestess of Five of Cups. See, you're not happy. Six of Swords and Four of Pentacles. It appears that the person is greedy. High Priestess with the Five of Cups. This is your dissatisfaction. Mm -hmm. You're upset with them. So now you don't want to talk. Hermit and High Priestess. It's like, I'm shutting down. Six of Swords with the Four of Pentacles. Uh, this person also not talking to you. Mm -hmm. Ignoring your text, your call, and just being stubborn now. Four of Pentacles is a stubbornness where... Um, they're very confident that they can turn things around. They just have to hold their ground. So the person is holding their ground, not talking to you, so that they can make sure that they get you working their connection again. So I feel like this is a one-sided kind of connection. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let me see this four of ones. You just have to think of a number right now. Seven. I hear seven. Okay. Um, and then that's the card that I will draw for five, six, seven. I'm going to try to identify this relationship, basically the four of wands, mm -hmm, the stability of the relationship. You felt like this was fated, right, Kinsiran? You felt like this is the one. That's why you, you, you wanted to work it. You wanted it to be successful with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, well, with the Wheel of Fortune, fate has a way of bringing people together. And also, same thing, fate has a way of separating people. So where is faith? Okay, taking this connection. I hear three. Okay. Hmm, what are they trying to get from this? Because when they are not talking to you for a pentacles, let's see their explanation why they've been ignoring you. Hearing five. Okay. The Empress, do they really love you? Right? Or do they love themselves more than this connection? Because it can be. Sorry about that. Okay. It can be with the Empress. You know, the Emperor has a controlling way. The Emperor the Empress also has a controlling way about emotion. I'm getting four for the Empress. Ooh. And the Queen of Pentacles has come out, so I'm gonna get one more. So they really rely on you for your care, your stability. You're the rock for them. I'm getting four for that one. Why do they always have to contradict your opinions with the Five of Wands? This is the part where they get annoying and get to your nerves because you will say something and then they right away, they would be a no somewhere there. I'm hearing seven, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so is it over though? Because the Five of Cups is here. Maybe it is because you're not happy anymore and you're looking for a reason to stay with the Five of Cups. Let me see, I'm hearing two. The High Priestess, what secrets did you find, you know, about this person that left you with the Five of Cups? You know, uh, what do you call this? A, uh, a sour taste, something like that. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing eight, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, well, I'm going to do the grand reveal, okay? But we're not done yet, because why? We do have a workshop about making coins. 
So if you're a person for 2022 manifesting coins, I started with hundreds of dollars only establishing what I have right now here. Not that I have it, I know this is all temporary, but this is a energy manifestation. So where I, where, how I do my business is all aligning about the stars. Never my own desire. It's more of like timing of events. It's more of looking at the guides and listening to divination. And that's where I'm at right now. And I would just want to share this experience with you guys. So there's going to be a workshop. It's going to be in the description box below. So do check it out if you want to attend. Um, it's going to be me, of course, who's going to be there. Now, for the rest, um, let's do the grand reveal. Answer all your questions. Link down there in the description box below. And I'll see you guys again. Bye.